Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am so glad that you decided to pop in. And if you are a returning visitor, as always, I'm so happy that you have decided to come back. Today, I have a quick little unboxing for you from our friends over at GBFKE. And I will put a little bit of information up here for you to look at. They are a little budget company. Well, not so little, but they are a budget craft company. They have a lot of diamond art products. They have additional craft items um, beyond that as well, too. So definitely go check them out. But they had reached out to me again a while ago now asking if I would be willing to select a few more products to show you. And I said, absolutely. I'm eager to always see what may be new and different out there and to be able to show those to you and let you know, hey, is this worth your time and money to get. So sit back, relax, and let's begin this little unboxing. All right. So I think there are three different things in here. A little tray of little collection of drill trays there. I'm not sure where those came from. All right. So first product in here are some really cute diamond art stickers. And yes, they are definitely holiday themed, but that's okay. This just gives me a head start for next year. And you know, I am looking at these going, they are not all necessarily holiday themed. So inside of this kit, you have your very basic little tool kit. I do like to go through and check the wax on these. Since the pandemic has um, moved further and further behind this, I have not really encountered this problem as frequently, and I don't now either. But this wax is fresh, it's soft, it's pliable, you can use it. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, it was not uncommon for me to receive, especially a budget kit like this, and have the wax be all dried out and completely unusable. And I think that was just residual from the pandemic. But um, like I said, now that we're moving further and further beyond that, I have not encountered that recently, but I still like to check. Um, basic green drill tray. If you don't know, I do like to keep and use these for some of my small projects. So I keep a stack for myself, but then all of my extras, I donate to my local elementary school and she can use them as paint trays for her students. And of course, just a very basic drill pen. I have yet to find a really good recycling purpose for these. I have watched some videos where people are able to like further decorate these basic drill pins. And that looks kind of cool, but I don't, like I don't really need that. Um, I just, I haven't really found what to do with these. You can obviously pop off one end and you have kind of a really, really short straw. <laughs> um, so if you have any clever ideas about what to do with all of these plastic drill pins, please let me know. I do talk about it often. But my one struggle with this hobby is all of the plastic waste that can be incurred because of it. So I'm always trying to find some kind of purpose or use for this stuff. And this is the one item that I'm really struggling with yet is this drill pen. So if you have any brilliant ideas, definitely let me know. All right. But as for the product itself, so here we have all these owl stickers. And at first I thought they were strictly holiday theme because I saw this owl with a Santa hat and this one's in a scarf and this one's in um, some winter gear as well. But that is not the case. It looks like it's actually like a year round owl sticker sheet here. So we do have a number of different owls on here. We have a lot of them that are more winter themed or holiday Christmas themed. But then we have a little patriotic owl down here. This is definitely a Valentine owl. Um, this one, given his colors, I'd say this is an autumn type owl. You have some Halloween. Here you have a summer owl. Looks like she's holding a little pina colada. Um, this is a springtime owl with her umbrella. This is an owl wearing some kind of bunny ear like headband. So this is Easter. We have um, a little like leprechaun owl down here. This is clearly a pilgrim owl. 
Here, this looks like a maybe Cinco de Mayo owl. Here you have a graduation owl. So I would say all the months are attempted to be represented here. Um, you got a lot for like January because <laughs> you have all these winter themed ones. Well, that could be January, February, March. I'm not sure. Maybe you'd still go with a winter owl. April, I'd say would be your rain. Well, we do have the Easter. So March, April, depending on when Easter falls, June, I forgot May. Um, May, July in the United States could be your patriotic owl. Graduation owl would be May or June. July, August could be your little pina colada owl down here. Uh, but a lot, I mean, it's a lot of winter heavy owls in this little setup. But they are so stinking cute. And then all of your drills with this are crystal drills. My guess is they're all crystal except for probably the black drills. But we will look a minute. I don't go through these real close, but yeah, here we go. So you have your black drills and these are your standard acrylic black drills. But everything else, and there are a lot of drills in here. Everything else are round crystal drills. There are not any special drills beyond that. It's just a crystal set, except for your black standard. Um, but a lot of colors. There are a lot of colors in here. In fact, I kind of want to count how many different colors are in here. Eight, nine. So 20 on this string. 29. There are 29 different colors. They were all numbered off for me, which is how they've actually done the coating on this sheet. If you see that, um, they're all numbered 26, 22, 15, 27. So that's how they chose to do this. So 29 different colors for all these little owls. Super duper cute. And then they are all individual stickers. So this is really sweet. I, I enjoy this. This will be a fun little project. I have a daughter who likes owls a lot. All right, we're going to move this aside and pull out project number two. Oh, here we have gnomes. I think, I do vaguely remember this now. I think the gnomes are pretty similar to the owls. And that these are stickers that are meant to be like a year-round type sticker set or representation. Again, I'm going to first thing pull out my green drill tray from here. And move that aside. So here we have gnomes. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, so this, I, hmm, I'm looking. I don't think these gnomes are necessarily truly a year-round representation. I see a couple different things. Like here we have a gnome with some kind of like strawberry theme going on. Where I live, this would be like June. Um, down here you have a gnome with like an apple on her cap. So that could be like going back to school, September, August. Um, here you have a blueberry gnome. Again, where I live, this is like July, August. Here you have a cherry gnome, and that is also midsummer. And here you do have an orange gnome. We obviously don't grow oranges where I live, but... Um, you know, so those gnomes are not like holiday Christmas themed, but I would say that the rest of them probably are. So you have like these like popsicle gnomes, you have three different like popsicle gnomes, and then you have like this cherry, and I'm not sure what it is that she's supposed to be holding, if anything, or if she's maybe eating, drinking something, she might be, I can't really see from down here. You guys might be able to see 
if she's maybe drinking a, something. I don't know. You guys might see better through the camera than me. And then we have like the back to school gnome. And was there another one? No, that was it. But otherwise, the rest of these, I feel like, are indeed holiday-themed things. So here you just have a stocking presents. Here you have a little gnome carrying presents on his head. Here you have a gnome. He has, it looks like, could be a little lantern with some holly. Um, gnome popping out of his presents. Skiing gnome. Gnome with Christmas tree. Here's a gnome and a cute little top hat with some holly. And again, you have like a candy cane cane there. Um, clearly we have a Santa hat and then this side too, another like super long Santa hat. And this one's really sweet. He looks like a little boy gnome. Maybe he doesn't have the big beard on him. Um, but holding like a little, I don't know with the blue, I'd almost say maybe he's a Hanukkah gnome, but yeah. So this, this does appear to be quite Christmas slash holiday inspired with a few others in here. Um, the drill kit for this, again, it's all crystals except for, I can see the black drills there are your standard black drill. I'm really sorry about my dog. He is going a little bit crazy again. I might need to pause and let him go outside and do his thing. Um, which is chasing after imaginary intruders. There's nobody out there. He just thinks that there is. But what is interesting is there are a lot less drills in here. So there must be a number of fewer colors in this sticker kit than the owl one. And indeed, this one only has 14. How much how many did the other one have? Like 29 or something insane like that. I think 29 different. So this is half the colors represented in this drill kit. But again, super nice, all fun, vibrant crystal drills, except of course for the black. But this is really, really cute too. All right. So I got the two sticker kits. And then the last item is the one that I was the most excited about getting and sharing with you and seeing what I thought of it. So I have seen these around. Um, you can kind of see here from the picture, but it's this little wood tray that you then diamond paint the inside of this tray. And I've seen these around and I've been kind of curious, what do they look like? What do I think? And so I really, really wanted to get one of these for you because this does seem to be kind of like the popular thing at the moment. I do know, I do remember this one is definitely Christmas themed. Oh, but it's not Christmas themed. <laughs> that is okay. So what I have is actually this tray right here. I don't believe I selected this tray. I am positive I actually selected a Christmas themed one. Um, that's not what they sent me. That's okay because we're not in the Christmas season anymore. And we have a good like 10, 11 months before we're back. So I actually got one that seems far more appropriate to receive right now. This looks like a really great spring summer tray. So let's look at what this is like. Um, clearly this is the base of our tray is what we're seeing first, but let's open this up. Uh, as soon as I can figure out how, oh, here we go. Okay. Try and move some more stuff out of the way. Again, just a very basic toolkit, although this one does include a few little bags in here for you, which I do like keeping the little bags. I often put extra drills in these. And here are our drills. I can already see these are larger round crystal drills with some specials in there. But we will look at these a little bit more closely in a few more minutes. Sorry, I'm building up quite the, quite the pile of stuff here. All right, this is, this is actually packaged pretty nicely. This has all been put together, sealed together like this. 
um, and some plastic, kind of keeping it in place. Here we do have a step for you, sis. <laughs> I think for usage. So this is your directions. Um, the English is not fantastic, but that's okay. I think you can understand what's going on here. They do say, you know, you want to tear off the plastic on top. You're going to find and match up numbers to place your drills. They tell you, you know, put your drills in the drill tray. Um, but down here, this is where I am most interested. So you do have a PVC transparent plate. So this is what's going to sit on top of your image when it's done. And that is what I was really wondering about is how are they going to make this so that the art is protected? Uh, you know, I, cause I just, with being a tray, ceiling only does so much, you know, I, you need more than that. So that explains that. And then they get further instructions about how you're going to put this whole tray together. So I will go ahead. We're going to open this up. But unfortunately, I won't be able to share with you putting the tray actually together or anything right now. Just because, well, I need to finish the kit first. But inside here, this is your transparent plate. So there are plastic coatings on both sides of this plate that might take a little bit of effort to be able to get off, I have found. Um, this side looks like it's going to come up okay. So you're going to remove that from both sides because obviously right now it is not at all transparent. But once those uh, plastic sheets are removed from both sides of this, this will be a nice sheer acrylic. You'll be able to see right through it. You do get a tiny little screwdriver with screws needed. And we will count all of these. There are eight screws in here. And based on these two end pieces, we need eight screws. So there are enough screws included. Here are your grooves where you will put, that's really rough in there. Um, this plate will be like on top. And then this plate will be on the bottom. I'm having trouble. I don't want to like get the plastic on top of this diamond part all out of shape. But I think you're getting, you have the idea here. And then your two other ends would be over here. So you, you, you have the basic idea with this will be a clear plate that will go over top. It's really cute. So let's take some measurements. Well, I was going to take measurements. God darn it. My measuring tape has disappeared again. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I actually had a little errand runner get this for me. I think for measuring purposes, you can kind of see how there's a line down here that shows where the diamond painting art ends or begins, I guess, depends how you think of it. And I think that's where we're going to measure. Uh, I'm going to call that like your usable surface area. So if we measure that, we'll do inches first. So it's right about 11 inches in length. And about seven and a quarter inches wide. Or really, this might be the length and this is the width. It's probably more accurate. <laughs> and then for centimeters, we are looking at about 28, a smidge over 28 centimeters by... 18 and a half centimeters about of usable usable surface area is what like I said I am calling that by the time the trays all put together that's about how much space you have on here 
It is not a large tray, but it's large enough for, you know, you can have your cup of tea or coffee and a little biscuit or cookie on here. That would be really, really sweet. This would be a really fun way to present somebody with a tea or coffee if they were visiting. That would be really, I mean, not that I ever have visitors because um, I live in the middle of nowhere and my life is too busy for that. But if the day ever comes that I have a really neat and tidy house and it's clean and organized and I have time and people are coming over for coffee, uh, I would love to present them with their coffee on this little platter, on this little tray. So this is really cute. I'm excited to do this project and get it all put together for you guys. So again, our drills though, looking at this part, there are some standard size drills in here, but then there are a lot of specials or no, there are no standard size. So these are all slightly larger than normal round drills. Now you can kind of really see the size difference. So this is like your standard size round drill. And this is the smallest size drill in this tray kit. But some blues, some yellows, some oranges. And then here are our special drills. Some really large reddish orange. These are a, like a teardrop, elongated teardrop shape. They're not really a marquee shape. These are pretty similar. I love these drills. The ones that have like this, it's almost like an AB coating, but yeah, yeah, I guess this would be an AB drill. And then lastly, this is a true like more like a marquee type shape here. Large hot pink, as Liz over at Scotty Dog Crafts would say, hot pink. Um, really sweet. So yeah, I'm excited to do this one. So this was everything for today, folks. We got these two cute sticker sheet sets as well as this tray kit. And of course, you know, as I complete these projects, I will share those with you and give you my final opinions on those then. Otherwise, I'm thrilled with these. I can't wait to get, get them done. Thank you so much over um, our friends over at GBFKE. Definitely go check them out. And in the meantime, please just remember to be kind. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Show kindness. Show patience. You don't know what people are going through. I will see you again. <gasps> My son just spilled something in the background. I will see you again real soon.